Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I want to show you how to turn on or off the second maximum power point tracker on a Fronius Primo or Simo inverter. What we need to go into is one of the hidden menus of the Fronius inverter and to do that we press the back button here five or six times. You see each button here um, well, these are four buttons here, these indents. Above each button it tells you what each one does. So up, down, back. This one doesn't do anything at the moment on this menu. So we want to press this back button five or six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have the access code come up, what we can put in. And we want to put in two, 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 and enter, two, enter, seven, enter, four, enter, and two and press enter on that the whole thing flashes and yes we want to press enter on that and it turns the inverted it off so it's got the orange light on there and we've got information for maximum power point tracker one tracker two so in our case here we want to go to MPP tracker two press enter and just on the top one here where it says MPP, T MPP tracker two we can just press enter there and we've got the option to turn off or on the second maximum power point tracker on the Fronius inverter. So in our case here, it has been switched off. We want to turn it back on. We've got another string to add to this system. So we want to have a have the second one track second tracker tracking independently from the first tracker. So we just press on there and press enter. And there you go. So we now we just press back and back out of that menu. And now the inverter will reboot with that adjusted setting and we'll have maximum power point tracker 2 turned on so the main reason you'd use the functionality of that MPP tracker 2 on or off is if when you originally installed the inverter you inadvertently press the wrong button and turn it on or off by accident and you need to go back in and adjust that or if you originally had the system installed and only one tracker was being used and now you've gone back, installed some extra panels onto the second tracker, and now you want to turn that functionality of the tracker 2 on so you can have though that second string independently monitored and independently tracked. Then you need to go back and turn it on. Now, if you are only using one input of the inverter, so tracker 1 of the inverter, and you still have that tracker 2 turned on, what the inverter will do is throw a state 523 error message occasionally and that state 523 error message is there to tell you hey there's no power on the second input of the inverter and so it's just to let you know hey the the inverter's working but the second input isn't having any power coming through it so you better check that second string and obviously if you're only using tracker one well you don't want that message to come up so you can just turn it off thanks for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you